Hi there, VO2 Max Productions here with another shoe review. Today we're going to talk about the La Sportiva Vertical K. Now, La Sportiva is not a company that sponsors me. I am sponsored by Scott Sports. However, uh, during the course of the summer and early fall, I was looking at companies to sponsor me, and La Sportiva was one of those companies that was generous enough to offer me some shoes to test out. So I figure the least I could do is uh, give them a good shoe review here. So that's why you get all this content. Plus I like to try new innovative products as well. So here we go. So a little bit of a history lesson here. Uh, La Sportiva is more of a mountaineering brand. They make a lot of mountain shoes, rock climbing shoes that get excellent traction. And then the Vertical K is actually a sky running series type of race that is a lot more popular in Europe. It usually consists of running a pretty short horizontal distance, maybe five kilometers or less, so looking at three miles horizontal, but with an elevation gain of over a thousand meters, a vertical kilometer. So that's 3,280 point eight four feet vertical feet vertical gain uh, so something you really need to get up on your toes charge up that hill because it's brutal so the La Sportiva Vertical K is a pretty lightweight shoe it weighs in at 6.9 ounces and if you look on the bottom here you see it's a pretty minimal drop as well we got a four millimeter offset but still a decent amount of cushioning with the stack height and that kind of is going to protect you from some of those sharper rocks uh, if you're running in the mountains or on some of these trails around boulder there's a lot of sharp boulders on the trail and uh, you know you, you want to protect your feet from that you don't want to get cut up that sucks so one of the unique design features of the vertical K is this smooth one piece upper it kind of just reduces the seams on uh, your forefoot on the top part of your foot it kind of wraps around your foot because uh, it's flexible and uh, adapts kind of to your foot as it flexes as you get up on your toes when you're charging up the hills or even down the hills over uneven rocks. They slip on like slippers basically so it is a comfortable shoe as long as you get the right size. I found the sizing was pretty consistent. Uh, I wear a ten and a half in most brands and I believe these are a ten and a half. They also have these great hooks here on the edge uh, that you could you know hook to your rope or your backpack rock climbing gear uh, if you're scaling some pretty demanding technical terrain. And so looking at the bottom, this is where the Vertical K really differentiates itself from other trail shoes. You have what they call a morphodynamic wave pattern, and you can kind of see that there. Uh, these ridges uh, actually give you surprisingly good traction, and the material on the bottom just grips the rocks really well. I actually wore these for the first time when I was trying to speed run up Green Mountain here in Boulder for an FKT attempt, uh, which was successful, I will note. And there was quite a bit of snow and a thin layer of ice on some of the rocks up near the summit, and I didn't fall. Uh, so that's kind of part of the reason I chose these shoes, and I hope uh, my sponsor Scott will understand that I didn't want to hurt myself a week out from the 50 mile North Face challenge. So great traction, even on rocks with snow and ice. Um, that being said, you could still slip if you're clumsy on the rocks, but uh, compared to other trail shoes I've tested, these definitely grip the best to the rocks. And it's really no surprise because La Sportiva has that rock climbing shoe background. Also, I found the shoe is really flexible uh, going up those hills, charging up rock steps or uh, really steep, you know, 15 to 30% slope. Uh, you can really flex up on your toes and it, it lets you move more naturally on the trail surface. So all around, a great, lightweight, relatively minimal shoe here from La Sportiva. And it really shines with its excellent traction on the rocks. Whether you're a mountain runner or a Appalachian trail runner, um, you're going to be able to grip some of those rocks a lot better. Reduce your chance of falling and busting your knee open and having to get stitches. So really a great product, nice and lightweight, uh, good for those vertical K races over in Europe.